Hey y'all, what are those bitches? So yeah, I've been hearing, haven't y'all been hearing a lot of crazy shit happening in Atlanta, my home, my home motherfucking city, bitch. Okay, a, a place where Olivia fucking lives. All these crazy shits been happening. The fucking you know interstate sinkhole, like the motherfucking interstates collapsing, the fucking interstates on fire, crackheads and shit on fire and shit, bitch. Yes, the shit is real out here in these fucking Atlanta streets, bitch. And I'm gonna give y'all motherfuckers ten reasons why you should not live. To, Move to fucking Atlanta, bitch. We're full, okay? The reason why this shit's happening is because our asses are full. We have all these motherfuckers from fucking LA, bitch, trying to move over here. Motherfuckers from fucking New York moving over here, bitch. Stay where you fucking at. Anyway, <laughs> number 10 is, bitch, the reason why you should not live in Atlanta is because it takes fucking hours to get to point A and point B, bitch. Before they even the before any of all the, the interstate fires, before the interstate, like, collapsed and shit, it still took fucking hours to get pla place by place. Because niggas don't know how to fucking drive around here, bitch, okay? So, you, every day, it's an everyday occurrence. You see somebody crash into a fucking, uh, pole, crash into trees, a fucking deer could, like, cross the damn highway, bitch, and you don't even fucking know a motherfucker hit the deer. It's a fucking accident, the deer dies and shit. Yeah, I've had, I've seen that shit happen. I was driving home from, from work one day, this was years ago, a bitch was driving home, and I see a motherfucking bloody ass deer in the middle of the fucking highway. You know what happened? A motherfucking car hit it. So yeah, number 10 reason is why you don't want to come here, because niggas don't know how to drive, and you can't get nowhere in a timely fashion, okay? Number nine is everybody thinks they're a fucking model. Like every bitch, you you know, this is for the men out here or or the gay girls. Any of my subscribers, gay or lesbo, whatever. If you're trying to date a woman around here, these bitches think they bad and bougie all the time, even though they look like a fucking man. The bitch could look like Bill Cosby and still call herself a model because she takes ass pictures on Instagram and say she lives in Atlanta, bitch. Okay, every bitch, especially black women around here, we they all think they're fucking models, okay? They all think that they are the top fucking shit. And <laughs> a lot, you know, it's just like, they think because they got an iPhone and a motherfucking Instagram, they a fucking model. And they say they from Atlanta. Oh, yeah. I'm a model, bitch. I'm a booty model in Atlanta. I started in, the, started in a ludicrous video or some shit. Like, bitch, you ain't a model. Okay, so number nine is that every girl thinks she's bad and bougie. And she's a fucking model. And bitch ain't never been no kind of modeling school. No kind of modeling training. She ain't been no fuck. She has no modeling experience except for taking news on her fucking shitty ass iPhone 5. Okay? So, <clears throat> number eight is... A lot of men like men, okay? I'm not I'm not prejudiced against gay people. I'm not homophobic whatsoever. I love everybody, okay? But if you're a woman and you want a man, especially a black guy, um you go you gonna have to really play it safe, okay? My man, he's black and beautiful and he's not gay. Thank God. But he ain't from Atlanta. But I'm talking about a nigga that's originally from Atlanta. It's it's gonna be pretty slim picking. You're gonna have to ask him, like, hey, you ever try to experience it, experience any dick? Like, are you sure you just want pussy? Have you ever tried any dick yet? Like, you know, you from Atlanta. I don't know. I don't know, nigga. Like, Atlanta niggas be trying everything, okay? Atlanta niggas are some hoes, bitch. Them niggas are some motherfucking hoes, okay? Not even hoes for women, just hoes for a dick, too. So you gotta ask all these fucking questions. When I was on the dating scene, I had to ask all too many fucking questions, okay? Because a lot of these men around here like dick, too, okay? They, they may fuck you and like big booty, but they also like big booty men, too, bitch, okay? And that's something to think about if you actually want a husband and kids and you're a woman, you want husbands and kids. You gotta think about that before you move to fucking Atlanta, bitch. Maybe, maybe you stay where the fuck you at. Anyway, <laughs> number seven is um, our school system sucks. Like a lot of a lot of people from Atlanta are fucking stupid. I'm sorry, okay. I'm kind of fucking stupid, okay. My boyfriend has like a lot of degrees, but he ain't even from here, bitch. Okay, I don't have no fucking degree, and I'm fucking almost 23 years old, bitch. The Atlanta fucking school system failed my black ass, okay. <laughs> It failed me, bitch. I'm just now starting to really take school seriously at fucking 22, almost 23 years old. <laughs> I'm just now starting to take college seriously, y'all. I'm just now starting to, like, my brain is starting to fucking work. I feel like my brain is starting to, finally starting to work. And I've noticed all of my fucking friends, they never finish college. Like, none of my people that I went to school with or, like, you know, people that, I, that were smart in high school or smart in middle school, they never finish college. <laughs> And if
if you, especially if you want to raise kids, I wouldn't suggest you move out here. Because our fucking school system sucks. We're all fucking stupid. And country is shit. Okay? <laughs> so I wouldn't suggest it if you ain't from here, bitch. Anyway. <laughs> number six is uh, the Klan. The KKK, bitch. Okay? The Klan still lives on in fucking Georgia. Even in the Atlanta fucking, the Atlanta, the city limits of Atlanta. Even though there's so many black people in fucking Atlanta, there's still the fucking Klan and racism every motherfucking where, bitch. Just last year, there was a KKK rally in um, downtown Atlanta near the fucking governor's fucking building, bitch. And no one fucking stopped it. The cops didn't even fucking stop it, bitch. The cops didn't even give a shit that the fucking Klan was out. The KKK, bitch. The motherfuckers known for burning down tr- black churches. Known for tormenting black houses, black people, and black people's families and killing them. They didn't give a fucking shit. It's still the dirty fucking South, bitch, okay? So that's the number six, bitch. The Klan is still out. The KKK, bitch. Anyway... Number five is also another racial thing. If you're into interracial dating, I wouldn't suggest it in Atlanta, especially if you're a black woman. Before I found my, my man, who's black, before I found my man, I was in the dating white guys. I That's what I like. That was my preference because I grew up in the fucking country and that's what I was known. That's what I knew. But a lot of these white guys, if you're a black woman, a lot of these white guys just want to taste some chocolate. They don't want to take your ass seriously, and their family definitely ain't going to take your ass seriously. Their family going to hate your black ass. My ex's family hated me, and it was never even a good re- logical reason. I wasn't even on YouTube like that when I was dating him at all. I didn't even have no videos out about me. It was because my ass was black as hell. Because I'm black, and I and you know, and he was a white motherfucker. He's a, he was a motherfucking you know, blonde hair, blue eyed white motherfucker. And they didn't like me at all. Like, they did, okay? And one time I did try to date a Hispanic guy as well. His family didn't like me either, okay? Just because I was fucking black. And then, looking back at those two relationships, I was basically just tried out. You know, most of these white guys, at least down here... They be saying they want black women, but when you when you um, show your natural hair and when you try to act like you black and you proud in front of them, they don't like that shit, okay? And they basically just want some black ass and just go on to the white bits. All the white exes that I had have went back to white girls. And, and a lot of the time, I think it's because they want to be accepted by their family. So yeah, if you're a black woman trying to date in Atlanta, I would say no nah to the white dudes, okay? That's all I'm trying to say. Find you a brother, okay? Find you a brother. I'm not, I'm not against interracial dating at all. I'm not racist whatsoever, but as a black woman in Atlanta, in Georgia, dating white guys is not the best thing. <laughs> you know, if you want, if you want a good white man experience, bitch, go to New York or to LA. Go somewhere that ain't the fucking South, okay? So, number four is, okay, there's so many fucking drug addicts in this bitch. There's so many fucking drug addicts in Atlanta, Georgia. In Georgia, and Georgia, all the surrounding counties, everybody is on fucking drugs. Everybody is on, on some type of pills, on some type of syrup, on some type of weed, on some type of coke. Everybody is doing drugs, okay? It's very rare to meet a guy who does not do drugs, <laughs> Or very rare to, you know, meet a friend who doesn't do drugs or ain't trying to buy drugs off you, bitch. Everybody be trying to sell drugs and take drugs around this bitch. If you if you if you if you don't like drugs, you don't like you don't like all this uh you know, people trying to buy shit off you, don't fucking move here. Okay? Don't be trying to move here and trying to start a life or a family. I honestly, if I wasn't from Atlanta, I would not even tr- be trying to start a fucking family out here, bitch. I would be somewhere else, bitch. Girl, bye. All these fucking crackheads, bitch. I work in a pharmacy. I know motherfucking crackheads, okay? <laughs> anyway, what number am I at now? Three? Three, probably number three. I don't know. So our houses are really cheap. And you know why they're really fucking cheap? Because we have bad fucking crime. And we have horrible school systems, too. So, yeah, of course our houses are cheap and big because it's going to be shot through anyway, bitch. (laughs) Your kid's going to come out dumb anyway if the fucking public schools are fucking stupid anyway. So, yeah, of course our houses are fucking cheap. The rent is fucking cheap, bitch, because you fucking living in a rat motel, bitch. Anyway... (laughs) Number two is horrible foreign food. By foreign food, if you want anything other than, like, 
um, burgers, fried chicken, motherfucking um, ham hocks, bitch. You're going to have to go somewhere else, bitch. Because we have horrible Mexican food. We have horrible Japanese, Chinese food. Our food is all fucking greasy as shitty as fuck. If you want, you know, if, you, if you're health conscious, it's going to be hard. Because our food is fattening as shit. And none of the restaurants cook anything good that's healthy, okay? Every food that's foreign is always fucking shitty, bitch, okay? I would never trust, a, like, an African restaurant or a Middle Eastern restaurant around here because we don't have those people. I mean, we don't have real, like, a real good diversity of culture, really. So the food is going to be really fucking shitty. If you want something other than fucking cheeseburgers and fried chicken, bitch, you're going to be out of luck, okay? Because my man, he's from California. So when he came over here and ate the Mexican food, he's like, what the fuck is this shit, bitch? Okay, because he's from California where they know how to cook actual Mexican food because they right by the fucking border, bitch. And he just, ne- it's, you're not going to be impressed by this Mexican food. If you're from the West Coast, Stay where you at, honey, bitch. You ain't gonna be impressed by any of this Mexican food or Tex-Mex, whatever the fuck we got. You are, you're not. Just stay where you at, honey, because this food sucks. Okay. And number one reason why you should not move to Atlanta is because, bitch, our airport is the busiest in the fucking world. It's gonna take you three hours to get your flight. And plus, our interstates are fucking collapsing, bitch. Okay? It already takes forever to get anywhere around here because we're all sp- wide and spread out like we're fucking Texas. But, honey... The fucking 285 is shut down. There's fucking sinkholes everywhere. Um, The fucking interstate keeps like, you know, just keeps erupting and shit. You know, sooner or later, ain't gonna be no motherfucking interstate. You won't be able to get nowhere, bitch. You're gonna have to take all these fucking backcountry dirt ass roads. You're gonna take you three hours to get to the bathroom, bitch. No. Okay, <laughs> so our transportation sucks. Public transportation sucks because Marta don't go n- go everywhere. Marta only goes like three fucking places, bitch. And yeah, if you're a type of person that needs somewhere that needs to be somewhere in a timely fashion, Atlanta is just not the city for you. Our fucking city is erupting as we speak, bitch. God is like, bitch, it's it's enough. Atlanta has fucking had a bitch. We have, we about to crash in Atlanta. Uh, God is about to crash in Atlanta. So that's the number one reason, bitch, because you won't be able to get nowhere in the fucking never say catch on fire when your ass drives to here okay so if you have any more questions about living in atlanta or georgia in general ask your girl and it was a pleasure to give y'all the fucking rundown scoop on on everything in atlanta okay bye y'all see you later